What's going on guys, Balkan Architect here and in today's video we're going to be talking about how to convert CAD blocks into actual Revit families. Uh, I'm going to be showing you a couple of methods. Uh, I'm going to be showing this on an example of a, a human figure in like a elevation view, uh, something that you would add there to add a little bit of context and scale to your, uh, to your model. Uh, and I'm going to be showing you a method where you import this as a 2D element and then also how to import this as an actual 3D element which you can then use for 3D views which is really useful. Uh, now, uh, if you're like me and you have used CAD in the past or AutoCAD in the past, I'm sure you have seen a, a ton of these files where they have just a ton of blocks uh, on one file and then you can use that. We used to share uh, these when we were students and they were very useful. Uh, and it makes sense to be able to use some of that data that you have accumulated over the years inside of your new Revit projects. So that's why I think this topic is really, really important. Uh, now, just quickly before we get into the actual uh, tutorial, I would just like to ask you to check out my website, BalkanArctic.com. Uh, it's going to be the first link in the description of this video and also up in the cards above. If you go there today, there is still a big Black Friday sale, so you probably want to uh, kind of use that to your advantage because we have uh, large discounts on, uh, on, the, uh, on the subscription, both annual and lifetime subscription. And then also there is a discount to the uh, beginner to intermediate plus intermediate to advanced level uh, courses. So it's like a pack of these two main courses and there is a significant discount on that as well. So check it out, as you said, just below in the description or up in the cards above. Okay, now let's just jump into AutoCAD for a change. So here I am in AutoCAD. This is the human figure that I'm going to be using. I got this from one of those, you know, free AutoCAD block websites. Uh, and uh, once you're in uh, in CAD, there is just a couple of things you want to uh, check out. So the first one is where is this kind of origin? So this is kind of the, the, the coordinate system and uh, you can see that they've placed it here below and you can actually move this around. So you just want it to be kind of uh, somewhere uh, around the uh, the actual geometry, the actual line work. Uh, because in some cases it might be way out here and then if you're using this as reference to position your uh, block uh, inside of your uh, Revit family, uh, this might give you uh, some problems. So just make sure that this is somewhere kind of on the line work itself. I like to place it in the, uh, in the, in the, on the bottom or in the bottom right or left corner or something like that. Uh, and another thing that you want to check out is just the scale of this, the, the units. So I just like to start the line tool, so just L, and then just measure from uh, bottom to top. So just want to make sure that uh, it's uh, what units have been used. In this case, this reports 1.8. So I'm going to guess that this is 1.8 meters. And that means that this is now in proper scale. If it weren't, I would just make sure to select this, go to uh, scale, uh, uh, and then I could just scale this appropriately to just fit the actual size of, uh, of a human. So anyways, once we have all of this set up, uh, I'm going to save this. So just make sure that it's only one uh, one block, one human figure. Uh, so only the what's going to be inside of the family. If you have a big file with tons of different stuff, that's going to give you issues. So it has to be one file with one element. So I'm just going to save this now and then I can just get out of AutoCAD. Actually, I can close it down. Uh, so once we have that done, we're now in Revit. So let's go here to new uh, and to start a new project. I'm just going to pick out my uh, custom uh, Balkan Architect template. If you want to check out both of my templates, I'm going to include uh, the link up in the cards above and then also in the description of this video. So I'm just going to click OK here and that's going to start up Revit. And as soon as we have Revit kind of up and running. Let's just create some simple geometry for our, uh, for our demonstration. So I'm just going to go here and place a few walls, just a, I don't know, just a rectangle like that. Let's have a floor down below like this. I don't know, we have a little patio outside. And then let's go to level two and let's do a quick roof here. So we can 
and just have a quick little roof finish. There we go. Okay, so now once we have this created, now we can, uh, okay, let's just attach the walls. I didn't do that, so attach top base. Okay, so once we have this uh, basic geometry, now let's see how can we convert our CAD file into a Revit family. So let me show you the first uh, approach where I'm going to be doing that as just a simple 2D element to add like an annotation family to your, um, to your elevations or sections. So you go here to file, uh, you go to new, you go to family, and then we have to pick out the template. Now, this is the important part. So you want to go here for metric detail item. Uh, that's the correct uh, family template to use for this type of a situation. And then you just hit open and it's going to open up like this. So what you want to do here is simply go into insert, go to import CAD, and then you can just use that CAD. Uh, so here I think it's it's this one. Yes, it is uh, for colors You want to invert that just because we have a white figure on a dark background Obviously in CAD usually that's that's how it goes in Revit. It's the other way around So you just want to invert that to have those uh, lines turn uh, black on your white background uh, Also for the import units you want to go with meters. We've already checked that so we just want to make sure that here It says meters positioning uh, Automatic origin to internal origin. That's going to be fine hit open and there we go So you can see that from CAD remember how that origin element was here So that's why it can fits in perfectly and now we have our figure you can unpin it You can move it around if you want. I'm not going to uh, and now you can use this in your projects. So what you can do now is simply go here to uh, load into the project. Uh, now here, let's actually go to, I don't know, like South Elevation. You can go here to the Annotate tab, you go to Component, and then you can place this. And now this is going to give you some scale uh, kind of compared to the building. You can see, okay, this is uh, the the size of the of a human figure. Uh, this is the size of a house, and I think it's a it's a really good way to implement these CAD blocks inside of Revit. Now I know what you've been waiting for is now how to turn this into an actual 3D family. So to use this as a 3D family, you can use different approaches. Kind of what I figured out was the the, the quickest approach, I guess you can say, uh, is that you can actually use just uh, RPC families. So uh, you know those RPC trees so let's go here to level one uh, let's go to component so here okay this is a 3d tree that's included in my template but we do have the RPC trees that come with Revit here we go let's use a smaller one like this so there we go so here we have this tree uh, it's yeah it's one of these kind of weird 3d trees uh, and you can actually use this. So let me go back here to hidden line. There we go. So what you want to do is uh, use this family. Go here into uh, edit family. Wait for a few moments. There we go. And then here you can go, for example, to the front elevation, and you can load in this, load in your CAD element here. So you just go here to insert, import CAD. Uh, use the same one, uh, same settings, hit open, place it there, there we go, perfect. Uh, then we're just going to select this and we are going to turn off its visibility, hit apply. Now if you're not sure what's visible, what's not, uh, you can go here to preview visibility, uh, it's set to off, if you turn that on you can see that now only this will be visible. And in the 3D view, uh, let's see here, In the 3D view, this seems to be visible, which is annoying. Let's see if we just go back a step. Okay, let's go back to front. Okay, so let's try something different. So when we load in the family, uh, here you have this current view only. So you want to uncheck that. So this is really important, something that I forgot to do, and now I have that issue. So here you have that current view only. You want to uncheck this. So it's not only going to appear in this elevation view, but in the rest of the views for this family. Again, the rest of the settings are the same. You hit open, now it's loaded. But now if I go to the 3D view, you can see it visible here. Also for the, 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 the tree, we want to turn off the visibility of the tree, turn 
preview visibility on on the front as well there we go uh, and now one more thing that I like to do is I like to just kind of sketch out a just a small kind of 3d uh, cutout or a silhouette of this uh, man in this case so you want to go to the ground floor just so you can find the uh, reference lines so here we have this reference line and you just want to name it whatever so let's go with one three two I go back to the front and then here if I go to create extrusion uh, I can set the work plane to be at 132. Click OK, and then you can just use pick lines, kind of just trace around this figure. So you can just go like that. Here we have this. Just go all the way around. At the bottom as well like that make sure to get the shoe okay there we go so uh, once we have this now I can hit the escape key a couple of times I can add just a few more lines that I see that they need here uh, we need one here one here uh, I think this should be enough let's see hit the escape key a few times go to trim and extend to corner and then you just fix this whole thing up so you just go like that so you're just kind of tracing that silhouette so just go like this all the way around, fix this up, connect these, just make sure that there are no gaps here, okay here we have a small gap, fix this, fix that, go here, perfect, you want to fix this up as well, there we go, hit finish. Uh, and now we have an extrusion, so you want to go back to the ground level here you want the extrusion to go perhaps to the other side I think that would be a better option and then if I can only select that uh, that CAD man let's see so I want to select the link there we go select the link you can unpin that and then here in the ground level I just like to move that just ever so slightly just like five millimeters to the front and then this, how wide is this? This is like 20 millimeters, that's okay, that's like two centimeters, that's quite thin. And then also you can add some sort of uh, material to this if you want. I usually like to use any type of white uh, material just to make it kind of generic, so let's see, what do we have for white? Do we have gypsum? Okay, here we have gypsum. So let's apply that. Okay, perfect. So once we have this, family now we can oops uh, we can go back let's see to the preview okay so once we have this uh, now we can load that into the project so that's project one click OK and now override the uh, existing version and there we go so now we have this 3d man which you can use in 3d views now the downside of this uh, is just the fact that if you kind of want to take a look from the other side or something like this you would have to select them and then go to rotate and then just rotate that by 90 degrees so you have that view like this so uh, that's how you can uh, use these um, that's how you can uh, use your CAD blocks and recycle your CAD blocks uh, in order to make some cool rabbit families so there you go I hope you have enjoyed this video and if you have a perhaps a better workflow how to achieve this please tell me in the comment section below the video Thank you for watching guys make sure to check out my website balkanarctic.com for more uh, Revit courses uh, there I have over 120 hours of content uh, and I'm adding more each week make sure to subscribe for more videos and also I've added a video over there that might interest you as well.